Hi guys, I'm going to try and do a really quick um, review of the Clean & Clear Morning Morning Burst In Shower Facial. It's a scrub. It, um, I know that a few people have talked about it. I think Juicy Star 07 has talked about it. I think she's the only guru that I'm subscribed to that has. I, maybe Emily Noel has too. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure that if you're somebody who watches a lot of um, YouTube beauty videos, you've seen this a, a couple of times at least. So. Um, basically, um, I'm going to read you the directions and maybe I'll give you an idea of well, what it's like. It says, use in the shower one to three times per week in place of a normal cleanser. Apply a generous amount to your face, avoiding the eye area. Do not massage. Let it sit for one minute. Afterwards, massage skin to activate exfoliating beads and smooth away dead surface skin. Rinse thoroughly, pat dry, and, and follow with moisturizer. So basically, it's a scrub. You're supposed to leave it on um, for about a minute. I guess it's supposed to somehow... Um, work with the steam in the shower or in your bathtub or wherever you are when you're, you know, um, using this. And it's supposed to, I guess, I don't know what it's supposed to do exactly, but with the steam in the shower, I guess it's supposed to act like a, kind of like a facial. So how I've used this, I use this, when I, when I take a shower, the first thing I do is wash my face. So, well, the first thing I do is brush my teeth. And I know some people are like, oh, you brush your teeth in the shower, but yes, I do. But, um, but the next thing I do is wash my face. So I would put this on and kind of like smooth it onto my skin as opposed to, you know, scrubbing it into my skin because it says do not, you know, massage. So I was doing that and then I would move on to like washing my hair and I would kind of like swirl my hair with all the, the lather and it's still on top of my head and then um, wash off my face. So lathering your hair, that's about a minute's worth of work or time, right? So then I would then I would scrub it kind of or you know massage my face and then rinse it off. Um here's the thing. I don't like this because I think that the micro beads they're not they're not that micro really. Um I think the beads that they use, that they have in here to scrub your face are a little too harsh for me. Um I've used scrubs for a really long time. Um all the scrubs that I've used though have been Noxema scrubs. So um the one that I've been using the longest, I've used it for years, was the Noxima, I think it's the Triple Action line, but it's the Noxima Blackhead Scrub, and that one worked great for a really long time, and then recently, and I know a lot of you have probably already heard this if you've seen any of my other videos of complaining about my skin already, and I apologize that I keep complaining about it, but um, recently my skin has been acting um, differently. It's been breaking out a lot more than it ever has before. Normally my skin is is good. It, it behaves, you know, but recently I've been getting breakouts. I know you can kind of see them in the um, video now. So, um, yeah, so it's been acting weird. It's not something that I'm used to, so I decided to switch scrubs, and I decided to start using another Noxema cleanser. It has less salicylic acid in it, but it's specially formulated for adult skin, and the beads in the, um, actually, let me show it to you. Um, this is the one that I use now. It's the Daily Blemish Control Clean Scrub, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean. You've seen it. Um, maybe. I'll put the name somewhere around. So, anyway, so I've been using that one, and I do like it. The the scrub beads in that one are a little bit more, they're a little bit more gentle. They, they're not as harsh. The ones in the Blackhead Scrub that I was using before, um... I, it was kind of like a creamier scrub, so there weren't as many beads in it. I think they were spread out more evenly. And in this one, it's not so creamy. It's really more of just like scrub throughout. And for me, it's kind of a little harsh. So I don't know if it's this plus the steam and heat in the shower that make it too harsh for my skin, or if it's really just this. Honestly, I, I, I think it's really just this um, that make it too harsh for my skin. Um, so I don't, I didn't really like it, but my sister loves scrubs, and she, she's like one of those people who like scrub really, really hard, but that's really not supposed, that's not very good for your skin to scrub that hard, but she, so she loves doing that, so I'm going to give this to her. I've used this, hmm, maybe a total of eight times, ten times, perhaps, um, ooh, um, I use it once wasn't really thrilled with it, but I kept using it because, you know, I kind of felt like I had to. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need to use a lot. And actually, let me show you what it looks like. It kind of has, like, this pumpkin color to it. It's really thick. Um, about to just get really gross and dirty. And actually, it doesn't feel that harsh on my fingertips, but, you know, it's my fingertips, so, you know, whatever. But, um, so, I don't know. I just... I think it's too harsh. I mean, maybe it isn't. It's the fact that it's paired up with 
the steam from the shower, but honestly, I highly doubt it, like I've said before. Um, as far as clearing my skin or my skin being clean, yeah, I felt my skin kind of felt clean. I guess it kind of felt softer, but honestly, I wasn't really seeing results as far as it um, clearing up, you know, some of my breakouts or anything like that. In fact, I think it kind of made me break out more. So I don't know if it was because the scrub is so harsh that it just, it exacerbated my skin. Um, I don't really know what the deal was, but yeah, that's part of, that's the other reason I didn't like it. If I had to give it a score, um, from 1 to 5, 5 being the best and 1 being the worst, I'd say I'd have to give it a 2. I didn't really like much about it, except for the fact that it smells good. Yeah, it kind of smells like the Morning Burst, um, just regular facial cleanser with, you know, like the clear gel with the little beads that you can see inside of it that kind of burst and they're supposed to wake you up or whatever. Um, it smells like that, so it smells nice and kind of like citrusy and clean, and I do like the bottle because <laughs> it squeezes right out. It's not like, you know, you have to like, you know, like a body scrub where you have to like tub it out or anything like that. Not, uh, well, I don't know any scrubs that I, okay, so then if that's the case, then I'm going to give it a one. I'm not going to give it a star just because I like the bottle. It's stupid. So, yeah, I would give this a one because um, it smells good. I would give it zero stars, honestly, if it didn't smell good. So, um, I, I know that sounds really harsh, but I didn't like it at all. It made me break out a little bit, and um, it hurt. And I just don't think it's an effective scrub. At least it wasn't for me. So, I know some people really swear by it and they really like it, so I guess you're going to have to try it for yourself to decide for yourself really but it doesn't have any salicylic acid it doesn't have anything in, in it that to me sounds like it would help fight um, 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 acne and it says sunburn alert, a sunburn alert this product contains an alpha hydroxy acid that may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun so this causes sunburn that's that's really not good. So anyway, um, like I said, I don't like it, and um, I hope this helped you. <laughs> Sorry if you really wanted to try it, and I just kind of dissuaded you from doing that. But um, those are my thoughts, and um, I, I I hate giving bad reviews, but I really didn't like it. So bye guys, and thanks for watching, even though it was a sad review.